You've been bugging all day, bro. Who's better, Big or Pac? Pac's way better than Big, bro. How? Big is a way better spitter than him. He's not a better spitter than Pac, bro. Pac got way more content. I didn't ask you about content. Who's better, LeBron or MJ? Jordan, that's not even a question, bro. It is a question. It's not. It's LeBron, bro. He's the GOAT. The GOAT at what? Failing? Oh, you're funny. Who's better? What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Owell's World. Moment of transparency. So, we shot this episode last Friday, because we shoot on Fridays, and um, my wonderful cameraman and his dog <laughs> <laughs> fucked our footage up. So, this is a emergency podcast, emergency episode. It's going to be shot today, and it's going to be edited today, and it's going to be uploaded today. Yes, Tuesday, the 21st of January, in the year of our Lord, 2020. Um, see y'all Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> My man Kaden is here. How you doing, Kaden? How was your How was your couple of days oh. that I ain't seen you? <laughs> yeah, oh. Al, what's good, baby? Fuck you. <laughs> All right, let's get into it, man. I want to start this podcast off by congratulating my best friend Jerry and her boyfriend Aunt Big Aunt. Uh, um, that's what we call him. Um, I went to the gender reveal yesterday and they are having a boy. So congratulations to them. Yes, I'm tight because God has blessed me with two little girls. Shout out to the little doodles. Shout out to the little doodles. But I, I wanted patience. I don't, I don't know. I'm cool with patience being a girl, but I definitely wanted Ronaya to be a boy. I'm not going to sit here in front, but that's my baby. It's fine. I got through it. I'm over it. Maybe she'll be like young MA or something. Oh you my God. <laughs> yeah, you, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. I'm like, oh, all right. Away, right. <laughs> uh, ma'am, <laughs> sir, whatever you want to be called. <laughs> anyway, so I want to start it off by saying, um, congratulations. Yes. So congratulations to them. I'm very, very happy for them and I'm, I'm proud of them. Let's get to the funny shit. Y'all ready? Let's talk pop culture. Rihanna is single. My prayers have been answered. And I'm and, and it's not even like I have any kind of chance with Rihanna, I just want her to be single so I can feel like I have a chance. And I want some new fucking music. It's been like a hundred years and we ain't get a, 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 a Rihanna mixtape. We ain't get a, a snippet of a single. So I'm tight because nothing. She was, she was supposed to drop a whole reggae album or something, right? Right. We're waiting on that. And you know it's gonna be fire. You know, party next door is probably writing some writing some 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 great hits for her. Singing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause he his pen I is I think it was cause she couldn't get certain people to sign off because like she was trying to get um I think Shaggy or somebody. <laughs> Shaggy had to audition. Yes, yeah, Shaggy, you yeah. have to audition, nigga. Oh, nah, that, that's Shaggy. She's like, nah, that's fucked up. That's high key fucked up. Um but uh, who else? But not anyway. She's single, and um, listen, Rihanna. If if ever in life you just feel lonely and you want a fat bald nigga with a beard that makes um a nice little piece of change, holla at me. I don't. You ain't got no kids. I can give you the kids. Like we can make new ones. I got two girls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is my. This is me shooting my shot. All right. So, um. That was when 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 this part comes on, I just need mad mad hearts around me. You know what I'm saying? To look, you know what I mean? Trying to look nice. Rihanna, this is for you. Nah, I'm playing. I'm not playing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what else we got here? What else we got here? Did you see Roddy Rich has the number one album, and Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez both are. Uh, Asking their fans, they both was asking their fans to, oh, stream my album, please. Oh, put my album, oh, put 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 my song in the playlist and just let it play. Put it on mute. You know, we're really trying to get the number one. We're neck and neck with Roddy Rich. Dub. Wow. Dub. My son Roddy Rich. That. E -hoo. E -hoo. E -hoo. <laughs> fire. That whole first of all, his whole project is fire. That song is fire too. All right, so. Just keep streaming my son Roddy Rich. <laughs> He's uh, 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 starting the decade off, starting the decade off number one. And shout out to Black Excellence. Um, also, 
the Notorious B.I.G. and Whitney Houston will be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I think that's pretty cool and, and, and very clutch. Um, you know, Biggie is, is definitely, you know, in on the route, the Mount Rushmore of hip hop and Whitney is Whitney. You know, she her voice is definitely um, unrivaled. She's definitely one of the goats when it comes to this singing stuff, you know, and, and aside from, um, you know, the drugs that she was battling and different things she was she was going through. Her voice was still amazing. She had a, an amazing career. Um, <laughs> the Bodyguard is like one of my mother's favorite movies. Cinderella. Remember, she played the fairy godmother in Cinderella. High key and and she killed. It happens every day. That's my shit. I don't care. Whatever, whatever. My niggas, yeah, I know, nigga. Yeah, that nah, niggas know, nigga. Brandy was Cinderella, and I think the 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 king was white. He was Chinese, I think. No, no, no. The prince was Chinese. The oh. king was white. Whoopi Goldberg was the queen, and they had an Oriental son. Wait, can I say Oriental? Is that... He's not a pack of noodles, bro. <laughs> like... Is that racist? <laughs> yes. I apologize. As an Oriental... To my Asians. <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended. Sorry. Okay. Um... <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. I want to talk about award shows. Um... I feel like every year we have this conversation of you know, the different black people that get snubbed or the different uh, black projects or black movies or black shows or, you know, they get snubbed. But in all reality, I feel like why are we giving so much credence to these white institutions? They never cared about us. You feel me? Um what was that? Will Will Smith was the first person to win a Grammy, and like from there, it, it was like I don't even I don't even know who who was the next person, but Jay Z at one point was boycotting the Grammys because they wasn't even airing the hip hops the, the hip hop um awards, and as far as the Oscars go, Denzel it took Denzel to go to be a uh, um. A, a, a corrupt cop to win best actor. It took Halle Berry to get fucked on camera by Billy Bob Thornton to be to to win best actress. Now we in the black community, we've always regarded Halle Berry and Denzel to a high regard. You know, when we think of act, when we think of movies and we think of acting, those are like the two people that we look up to. Why why do we have to look towards these white institutions for validation? I feel like we should start putting more um, credence to the the BET Awards and the Soul Train Awards and the NAACP Awards and actually getting behind that and caring. Because at the BET Awards, there be a, there be so many people winning awards and half of them don't even don't even really be there. You know, so when the last time you even watched an award show? When the last time you watched like like really sat down and was like, I'm gonna watch this award show today. It's been a minute. Even BET, I don't even watch the BET Awards um, anymore. It's been a long time. You know what I'm saying? The MTV Awards used to be cool. You know, seeing people outfits, but <clears throat> I don't know. I, I just feel like I just feel like they're all like they're all definitely all the same. And there's there's rumors of people just buying out their awards. Like there's no reason why Lizzo at the Soul Train Awards won Best Soul Album. Yeah, that don't make no sense. There's no reason for that. And I, <laughs> Ari Lennox, you know, I love Ari Lennox, but I feel like whenever, <laughs> whenever something doesn't go her way or she feels the type of way, we're going to get a rant through IG Live because she feels some type of way. And sometimes, sometimes it's warranted, but other times it's like, listen, just, just calm down, all right? We got your back. We love, we're, we're your fans. We love you, but you didn't win. It is what it is, you know. Um, she had a, she had another rant talking about how some guy called her, called her ugly, and it turned into, oh, um, 
black black people always um are shooting down other black people. No, that's not what it is. He just doesn't find you attractive. He's ugly. Right. No, he just doesn't find you attractive. I personally think she's beautiful, but not everybody sees the way I see shit. But that's the thing with like the award shows, you know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, you'd have to watch them just cuz it'd be the crazy like something you knew something crazy was going to happen at the BET Awards, mm-hmm. the MTV Awards, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like when or when Kanye, like, when he bugged out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the what people are going to be talking about the next day at work, at school. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't think the moments have happened. Well, I, they, there has been the moments, but we don't care. Every, we can watch that show on YouTube, bro. And that's the thing with social media. You can yeah, see yeah, yeah. it the next day, or you're going to see it that right. night. You know right, what I'm right, 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 right. I don't know. I just feel like war. I feel like like the like royal show, award shows, like the Oscars and the Grammys and and things that that are such prestigious institutions. I just feel like I don't give a fuck about them. I just don't. A lot of people just use those awards as like you know, like oh he was Grammy nominated. Yeah, so I need more money. And I, hey, do you? I'm not mad at that. Travis Scott needs a Grammy. I don't know if he has one or not, but he. I feel like he he's. I, I think he got one. I'm not sure. Look it up. That's what I'm doing. That's my guy. That's research right there. Um, I'm moving on from that because I I can talk about that like all day. Movies is my shit. No, just nominees. Yeah. Just nominees. He never won. Uh-huh. That's crazy. That is out of yo, bro. He made Astro World, bro, and he lost to Cardi B. Yeah, Cardi B killed that year. Bro, Cardi B killed <sighs> Best rap performance nominee, best rap song, best rap song. He never won a Grammy. That is blasphemy, bro. Blasphemy. Nas never won a, won a Grammy. Like, this is this is outraged. I am outraged. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. I was watching um Joe Rogan's podcast. He had on a a comedian uh, by the name of Joey Diaz. And I was I was watching what he was I was watching their 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 podcast and Joey Diaz was talking about how he might not see every movie, but he definitely watches all the Pixar's all the children's movies and he likes the fact that they they that they use like old songs or they reference like old stuff that he can relate to his daughter and I personally felt him on that because. My oldest is seven now, and I've been, you know, I've been showing her movies here and there. Um, the last movie I put her onto was The Mask, and you know that's a that's a classic right there. But um, she, you know, she loves the movie, and it's cool because it's like, dang, I remember, I remember that feeling of you no know, when I first seen The Mask. I remember that that feeling of. Um, watching the Page Master. That's another movie I put her onto. Um, right now, um, I'm currently putting her, putting her onto Kanye West and the early Kanye West, not new Kanye West. But I think that I think that that's cool. I, I like I like being able to 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 put my daughter on to to cool things and things that I grew up listening to or or what I love, and then seeing her love it. Um, you know, just a little something that I. Uh, that I can relate to, you know, as far as watching, you know, watching movies and laughing at certain things and she's not getting it or she'll laugh at certain things and I don't get it. And, it's, you know, it's kind of cool being a parent and it's cool being the only parent in this room. Oh, yeah, I better get on it. Now I'm playing. Um, let's see what else we got. I'm ready for this conversation now. Lonnie Love. Um, this is like a whole thing. But anyway, Kevin Hart, if did you did, did anybody see the Kevin Hart um Don't Fuck This Up documentary? No. So there was a episode on there when he was talking about his his latest cheating <laughs> his latest cheating uh uh fiasco, I should say, um in Vegas. And oh, oh, he got caught again? No, no, no. The, this last one. I don't know that man. You don't remember? You don't remember when he when um when he was getting extorted? They were trying to extort him for some bread because uh, there was a sex tape or whatever. Oh, and they called him through the window. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I was fucking. <laughs> right. Actually, so he came yeah. out. He came out like, nigga, all right, yeah, fuck yeah. it. You might get my bread. So in the um, what was that? 
in <laughs> damn it fucked me up. In the um in the episode, he he blamed his team. Like, yo, I went out the I pulled the audible, I went out to Vegas, and my team wasn't with me. Mm-hmm. What? Think about that next time I want to go out, Ronell. <clears throat> <laughs> I didn't know you were in a relationship. I need my team. I didn't know you were in a relationship. What if, what if there's a fight? I don't know. Hmm. Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and so it, it got to Joe Budden. Joe Budden tries to reason with him, saying that he knew, that he knows how it feels to cheat because he a cheating ass nigga. <laughs> and um, he was trying to shoot him some bail. Then... The Real, which is a, a um a, a all girls talk show, The Real got a hold of it and they was they was first of all dragging my man Joe, and then Lonnie Love comes up and says um the reason why black men can't be faithful is because of slavery. Kaden, no preach, sister, preach. no listen, we gotta start taking accountability. For some of the shit that we do, okay. Um, so what you're saying is you hate black people. That's not what I'm saying at all. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying at all. But I have cheated in the past, and I'm not gonna sit here and blame it on slavery. Like, oh man, my my great grandfather was whipped in the back by the white man. So that That's not what she's talking about though. So that internally No, she's saying That internally makes me just want to cheat on my bitch. She's saying because slavery broke up so many black families, separated so many fathers from black children that Bro, cheating is a choice. Play, that's why I'm leaving that. Cheating is a choice. If you really love your queen or love whoever you're gonna love, then you're not gonna cheat on him. I blame a lot of a lot of the shit that be going on to today. I don't blame it on slavery. I blame it on social media. Definitely. I blame it on media in general because we highlight and, and give and give credence to the side girl. You know what I'm saying? Whole shit. You're saying definitely, definitely whole, whole shit is definitely glorified. And if you just a, a hardworking man and, and and taking care of your family, you a bitch ass nigga. I'm talking social media shit. Now I feel like it's coming around and, um, you know, men are, you know, being more stand up and, and all of that. Because nowadays, you don't even have to cheat. Half of these bitches is gay anyway. You could just cheat. You could just have sex with, with the female, with your female. You know what I'm saying? Um, cheating is a choice. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to shoot nobody no bail. I'm not going to give give anybody a, 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 a pass. You know what I'm saying? Cheating is a choice. And if you're just a cheating ass nigga like I used to be, now I'm just single. I can do what the fuck I want. But I used to be a cheating ass nigga. I gave that up. But when I do get a girlfriend, <laughs> I'm, gonna cheat. <laughs> I'm not going to cheat. I promise I'm not. Or I'm just going to break up with her. Well, or, or, speaking of cheating, mm -hmm. what about Okay, that nice. I like that. So I seen something on Facebook, and I'm I, I promise you I'm gonna get a girl in here, and I'm gonna argue that last point because I know there's a female out there that's that's ready to argue with me over that, and I want I want to talk about this. I seen something that said watching porn in a relationship is considered cheating. I personally don't think so, because listen, if you on your period. And you don't feel like giving me some head and I like really want to, you know, let one go. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. Get that off. And then I'm get it off. You know, go on with my day. Or what if I just like watching porn? Hmm? What if I'm looking for some cinematic gold in these porn movies that I'm watching? You nasty. That's what that means. Oh, that, that's what that means? You're a nasty nigga? I mean, I'm not saying I do. But I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to help my niggas out, man. A friend of mine. <laughs> Watching porn is not cheating. It's definitely not. It's not. I don't know them bitches. You feel me? They live in San Diego. I don't, I don't know homeboy neither. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, yo. that's, listen, <laughs> it's, it's a thing. But, um, <laughs> it's what it is, man. But yeah, cheat, that, that's not cheating. All right, let your, let your dude watch some porn. 
know what I'm saying? It's not like you you he you rated. Off or he could be out there fucking somebody. Exactly. Else. What you want him to do? He got to do something. Cause you ain't about you ain't about to give him the neck or give him that ass every time. Real quick, what's better, morning sex, drunk sex, or high sex? Combination of all three, baby. When you drunk and high in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was in college at one time. Y'all whack. <laughs> all right, so I went live this morning and I said that morning sex is the the best sex. That's my favorite. All right. Mm. Getting waking up to some head is actually like that's, I've that's, never experienced that. I heard that is lovely. Yeah. Like, oh shit. Sure. What is going on? I've <laughs> never. I've Why never. Bacon too. I've, <laughs> I've never had that. I've woken up to. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Usually, I'll be the one that that initi initiated. Yeah. Especially when you fuck all night and then you go to sleep. Then you wake up in the morning and be like, I'm about to hit this again real quick. <laughs> you gonna get this morning? Yeah, like. Uh, yeah, come here, girl. You know what I'm saying? That to me is the morning sex, and I'm a morning person. A lot of people aren't morning people, and I get it. I trust me, I get it. But I'm a morning person. You know what I'm saying? I like to get active in the morning. That's because you go to church. So? No, I'm saying that's why you can be up early and be like, Hallelujah. true. That you know what? You might have a point there. I might have to look into that. When I when I talk to my mother, I'm gonna ask her like, were you a morning person because of church? And then she's gonna look at me and. Probably want to fight. Yeah, ball right? <laughs> Probably want to fight. <laughs> um, all right. I think I talked about everything I wanted to talk about when it came to that. Let's talk. Let's talk. Um, let's talk sports, guys. Conor McGregor, forty seconds. Yo, he put the Swiss forty beat. seconds, and I was doubting him too. I'm kind of glad that that pod didn't come out because I definitely was doubting him a little what bit. I say? He beat that nigga up with his shoulder. That ass. Pick him up. Bah, bah. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. I'm about to use that. So congratulations to Conor McGregor for that. Um, Look at niggas just shoulder, shoulder, shoulder punching niggas now. Shoulder, shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> niggas, no chances. Um, <laughs> um, the Astros are cheaters. So. Are just. <laughs> it sucks though because it's like how you. But listen, listen. No, and yo, and and then watching like I've watched some footage of. Them banging on the trash cans. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, bro. So the only thing you need to see is their batting average from when they were home and when they were away. Mm -hmm. The one dude, his, yo, know, hit like a five, six, eight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Batting average at home, it, it was like oh nine eight. Like, like, or I mean, not away, away, eight, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so, at home they were just hitting every everything when they weren't home. Damn, they were man. That's crazy. But they had home field advantage. Now, but I feel like now I feel like the game of baseball. But and the craziest part is if you're cheating, like how and, and I guess they caught like eight or nine other teams or something. Right. Like that. But this is what I'm saying. The the game of baseball, they have their own rules. You feel me? They have like their own like un like yeah. unwritten rules that you know what I'm saying? Because every team does that. You know what I'm saying? They, I don't know that for a fact. No, no. I'm saying every every team does that. Every team okay. like they try to they try to look for an advantage, but. You know, there's a saying: if you're not if you're not cheating, then you're not I mean, trying to I win. I feel like in life, with everything, people try to find an advantage to do anything. Right. In life, you know what I'm saying? But if you get caught, you get caught. Now. Now there's ways to become better, like training harder. Or just taking steroids, like Barry Bonds and Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa did, and turn baseball all the way up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and see, this, this is my next point too: is like, how is every team cheating? No one win a off-speed pitch is going to come or some shit. But baseball is boring to watch. Baseball is boring to watch. It is boring to watch. It is. I can After only... After football ends, or, yeah, no, no. Once, <laughs> once basketball ends, and then it's just like two or three months of baseball, highlights on Sports Center. It's I'm saying, but, you, but, but, see, but you're in the, the soccer too, though. So so that's why, yeah, we have, there's like the World Cup. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you you have... I have other things. Yeah, you have you have a way to still be, you know, I satisfied no when it comes to music. I mean, um, sports. Thank God. True. Thank God. But anyway, for, 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 so for the people that don't know what me and Kanan are talking about, the Astros has, has, have been caught cheating. And they were um, stealing signs. Um, the, their general manager got suspended for a year. And... Uh, the president, I believe, got suspended. And they both got fired. So, that's that. Um, 
they have won the last. They've been. They. I, I, I want to say they've been in the World Series the last three years, right? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it just sucks because. When you have, you know, people who's trying to do it the right way, I should say, it sucks because, you know, you, you're putting your all into it. You're trying to win and motherfuckers is just cheating. They had like a, they had a monitor in the dugout. <clears throat> so when they was, so when, so when the, the catcher would make his, uh, make his sign or whatever, they would just bang. They would, they would just bang on the trash cans. And then once they heard it, it's like, all right, I'm not swinging at this one. But if it's like a fastball, then it's like, all right. I know where to swing at this one because it's coming sh directly towards me. Yeah. So that's, that's, this is some whack shit. Did you see the thing that uh, that uh, Carlos uh, uh, Beltran's niece said that Jose Altuve had like an electric like like yes. buzzer? Yes. Yes, and there was this footage of him running and saying like, "Yo, I gotta take this off. I gotta take this off." Right. And then he went and and, and and did whatever and came back out out of the dugout. I did see that, but then they saying they the mo the the league came out and said that there was that they didn't find evidence of that. That's what the league said. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if they're trying to save face, then that it is what it is. Um, congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs and congratulations to the San Francisco 49ers. They are going to the Super Bowl. Woohoo! Um, the Super Bowl is in Miami this year. Miami, yeah. <sighs> It's gonna be podcast like, from Miami. Yes, on, the, on location. I, I'm not wearing no shirt. I'm getting on camera. No shirt, K. Yeah. Don't 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 let oh. me get no sh no shirt rolling out this motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't never I never even been there. But anyway, um, all right, predictions. Who we got? I know it's like two two weeks away still, but Bro, I don't know. I'm going with Patrick Mahomey, baby. Huh? Oh. Patrick Mahomey, let's go. Here, I'm not gonna make a prediction because I don't care. <laughs> but Ooh. this is what I'm gonna say. Kansas City cannot get down in a hole like they've been doing the past few games. True. They've been down like twenty something points, you know what I'm saying? True. Seventeen points. They can't do that against the 49ers. Their defense is too good. Mm -hmm. Richard Sherman is not letting that happen. I think defense wins games, so I'm gonna go with the 49ers. You can't put a wager on said bet? Yes, yes, I'm not. Nope, I'm not putting <laughs> shit on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I won't delete the podcast. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So congrats to those. Yo, you're a fool. Congrats to those players. I mean, to to those teams. Um, Redskins 20, 2021. He smoking crack, yo. Um, speaking of that, let's talk about your man's. That's his man's. Odell Beckham Jr. That's your man's. I'm I'm only saying that that's your man's because I, that's what I'm feeling like. This is my world. This is my world. Oh, no, that's not my man's. Then that's your man's. I'm not. He's a bug out. That's not my man's. I don't want him. Congratulations to the LSU uh, Tigers. I don't know if I... Yeah, this, this podcast, right? Yeah. So, yeah, congratulations to them. They won the national championship. And um, Odell Beckham literally stole the show. Like, literally. Like... He was giving players money, like just mad bread. I think he let one of the um one of the receivers get a pair of his cleats. And then he was like, Yo, I'm selling this on eBay for two hundred thousand. Um also <laughs> there's footage of him smacking a security guard's ass. And no, I think it was a security guard. It wasn't even a cop. They said it was a Policeman. What was a police a, a full police, police officer? officer yeah. Well, he's well. Then that's a whole different type of bugging. Like you're wilding at this point. But um, those charges was dropped. Oh, they did drop them. Yeah, they dropped the charges. Um, well, the we didn't drop you on the, the officer. <laughs> the officer, <laughs> for whatever reason, he um he just opted out. He just didn't he didn't want to press charges anymore. So. So, um, oh, yeah, hell yeah, you know what that's about. Like, yo, man, send him like, send him a couple thousand, man. Tell him, shh, send him like 10,000. Now, do you think, do you, do you think Tom Brady is going to be on the Patriots next year? Yeah. So, there's, um, there's. Listen, listen. I watched that documentary on Aaron Hernandez, right? I was, I'm getting the to The way that. they do business, he's not going. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I, I'm get, I'm, I'm going to get to yeah. that. I'm going to get to that. Um, so there is reports of Tom Brady, uh, saying that he might, he's open into, you know, maybe going to another team. I think, I don't think he should personally. I think that what, what him and Belichick built in New England is like, some monumental ass shit and legendary for him to go to another team I think that's weird but I don't know we'll see what happens I I I kind of want him to stay I don't I want him to just flat out retire I'm tired of seeing Tom Brady I'm tired of seeing him win all the fucking time I'm tired of it Listen I heard something well this isn't a rumor but someone was saying that the Patriots should tank this year so that they can get Trevor Lawrence. I like Trevor Lawrence too. That's another ten rings right that's there. My, that's my. That's my. That's that's a good white boy right there. Um, <laughs> so the the uh, the there's a, a documentary on Aaron Hernandez, and this has been the talk of social media ever since it came out. <laughs> and I watched I watched the first episode. I think it's I think it's shot horribly. Me personally, I just feel like they're all over the place. That's that's the point. There's there's three parts. They should have had one part for high school, one part for college. Yeah, I'm I'm like the I was confused because I'm like I'm like all right, his dad, I would like they, they just kept going back. And forth. Yeah, I'm like yo, they should have they should have outright told us that his dad died and when he was at, when he was 16 because they kept talking about his dad not showing him, kept talking about his dad not showing him. Then they were talking about how the nigga was gay with with his um. With his quarterback, and then I seen some shit that that might that's might have not, not even been his quarterback. Not quarterback. He played like nah. That's you know what I'm saying. So I'm like, was he really gay? Check Max Prep. They never played together, boy. But my, but the thing is, this, was he ever really gay? You know what I'm saying? I don't think he was gay. Um, then the mom was on some wild shit too. Like I don't know. His just, mom was bugging. The whole shit is the whole shit is just weird. Um, let that man just lay be be laid to rest, and we all can we all just get on with our lives, cause. At this out. point, y'all dragging it, huh? He's a bug out. No, he definitely was a bug out. Especially, he's definitely a bug out. Definitely, I, there's no question <laughs> for that. But it's like we 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 had the CTE thing. They're trying. They're driving the CTE. Then they're driving that. Um, he had so, a fucked up childhood, the thing which about he didn't. The CTE is they only touched on it at the end, at the very end. Bro, I don't think I'm gonna watch that. And they had mad people in the documentary that served no purpose to the documentary. They right, gay dude. That played on the Patriots. I guess he only played two games for the Patriots. So, you know what I'm saying? They had the one dude that played in college for Wisconsin. <laughs> like, never, like, had nothing to do with Aaron Fernandez. I guess Bro, he was listen. Up, I recognize CTE. At the end of the day, that documentary is trash. Yeah. Um. It wasn't trash. It was trash. It, it, it wasn't trash. It was just done not It was good. Tr- it was trash. Um, <laughs> oh, this is what I forgot. To, this is what I forgot to bring up. Cassidy needs to stop everything that he's doing. Oh, that's bad news. Everything. Um, Lil Boosie. I, on the last podcast, I said Lil Boosie had a tip murder. No, 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 no. He beat murder one. And I guess they killed like eight dudes. I'm not saying that on here. Cannon said that. Allegedly. <laughs> Not me. Um, so Kappas, leave him alone. Just 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 don't approach him. Don't write him no more. He's gonna kill your whole line. Just, <laughs> just don't. Just leave that man alone. It's not gonna end the way you think it's gonna end. Also, I wanna say, did you see did you see um there's a new footage of the baby like pressing a a, a hotel security? Can we leave the baby alone? No, but did you see? I don't know why he did. Yeah, but you, the, the, you you would do the same thing. No, right? no, no, no. I'm no. He's not in the wrong. What I'm saying is, leave him alone. Yeah. It's not gonna turn out the way you think it's gonna turn out. It's just not. You know how I many people have tried to literally kill that man, and he's killed every person that tried to get at him. So you being trying to be cool and like, oh yo, it's the baby can't get. No. Listen, I I got my daughter. Like. There's a time and a place. I have no problem taking a picture with you, but right now is not the time. And you still try to be funny. All right, 
now the baby has to turn into the 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 the, the, the super thugged out not not super thugged out but the gangster image yeah. and now, now you're not you're not going to like that you're not going to like that the baby um leave just just leave the baby alone let's just let's just leave him alone um and let him make incredible music did you see the snippet of uh there was a snippet of Meg the Stallion in the studio with Pharrell. Oh wow. Mmm. Right, right. And porn stash Pharrell. Mm. Good porn <laughs> stash Pharrell. Uh, <laughs> we all know that he makes legendary music. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Um Pop Smoke and um Pop Smoke dissed Casanova and Smooth L and went to jail for stealing a Rolls Royce. What's up with that? Because I just seen that So like, he so he um Allegedly, he borrowed a Rolls Royce for ever. <laughs> no, basically, <laughs> he, he he bought it for a music video and then just never gave it back. Oh. But this is the thing they borrowed it in California, LA. right? <laughs> yeah, like yeah, he like yo yo yo. Let me get this. Where are you shooting the video at? They're in LA at the time. Yo, let me borrow this. Like I need this for a video. Oh, where are you shooting the video at? In Brooklyn. Go on ahead, buddy. Bring it back, man. Just, just. So I think they shot it in like LA, but then the next day they went to Vegas. The dude was like calling them, and then I'm pretty sure he had like one of his little homies either drive it back or he paid for the shit back to Bro. New York. It made it back to New York. Yeah. That's, that's all I. That's 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 the end of the. All right. But it happened in November, so my my theory is like they. They've been watching that dude. Like they bro, use all, this to probably tap his but, phone. But listen, the next shit. all them Brooklyn niggas is getting looked at. You feel me? No, anybody who who disses Casanova, mm. that nigga got some voodoo with him. Mm. Don't fuck with That's Rock Nation right there. You niggas better be jail. Let, let leave his ass alone, yeah. huh? Um, I just don't want to see them. I don't want to see them on um, beefing. But well. They they made up. They made up. They made up. Um, but I was worried because Brooklyn has like they have it right now. They got they got a, a nice little they got a nice little pocket with this grime slash drill music and they're killing shit. Uh Bobby Schmurter's gonna be home this year. <laughs> and you like set that up because you know set it up for him to come home and just start killing shit out the door. Because when he comes home, I'm going to that concert. That's a fact. I'm going. You remember when he when he, when he was up? Would you, would you, did you go to that concert when he for up here? To get out? I don't know. This year, sometime. Yeah, sometime. I don't. I don't really know. Because if he's out by summer, summer jam. Ooh, that's summer gonna be crazy. crazy. They and they kind of set president for like everything that's going on with Brooklyn right now. Yeah. Yeah. They started it. They put New York back on the map. Yeah. This was, I don't see a lie. There, I don't see any lies there. Especially for this generation. Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? It was Atlanta. Mm -hmm. That's where it was at. Mm -hmm. Hot nigga came. He was like, oh, wait, hold on now. What's this shit? Yeah. Oh, shit. Not for nothing. Designer didn't really do much, but he came right after that. Yep. And everybody And got there. left. Yeah. He <laughs> got left. Stupid ass sound with good music. I, I blame. I 100% I blame Kanye for that. Kanye, you an asshole. What if he drops in this monumental album? <laughs> <laughs> what if he drops? <laughs> the design is the greatest. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> um, all right. Coming to a close now. Um, remember, I started a segment called What You Should Be Listening To. And on this episode. I want to highlight um, Dreamville. Dreamville dropped a, uh, they dropped the the deluxe of their Revenge of the Dreamers album. The whole, name of it? the whole album is called Revenge of the Dreamers Part Three Director's Cut. Okay. All right. So I am picking a song from there, and it is called "Bus It" by Ari Lennox. <laughs> B vibes for you. That's all you get, because I don't want to get kicked off of YouTube. Um, 
what do you what what's your uh what are you putting up for your uh this past week? Rich Homie Kwan dropped an album. Mm-hmm. It's called Coma. It's not too good. It's not too bad. So give me a song that that you want nope. to. <laughs> you gotta give me a song. To the album, guys. <laughs> so he says, Rich Homie Kwan. What is it called? Coma. Coma is what you should be listening to. Els, what you got? Uh, Dead Man Walking, Two Chains and Future. Okay. Okay, I like that. Is that new? Old? Okay, Dead Man Walking, guys. Um, future or uh, Two Chains featuring Future. Two Chains featuring Future. And I also want to add. Um, add on another segment called What You Should Be Watching. Um, this past week, I finished The Witcher on Netflix. Um, yeah, man, so check that out. What do you got, Kaden? Watch the yo, watch that whole Aaron Hernandez documentary because simply because the memes mm -hmm. have been they are very funny. That's a fact. That's a fact. What you got, Alice? Watch my man Joe Goldberg. You man, gotta watch that. <laughs> oh my, yo, he is a. Did you see the um? If Joe was from Brooklyn, did you see that? Yeah, oh see that. my God, I love Twitter. Um, Damn. Bad Boys Three. Bad Boys Three dropped. Did anybody see that? I, I didn't go this weekend because of the weather. Okay. We'll say. Okay. Um, and uh, they made a hundred million dollars first week. First week, nice. I, I went to see it. Uh, I went to see it Sunday. It was really good. Yeah. It was really good. Somebody said it was the best one ever. Two is the best one. Okay, so I disagree. I, w I watched Bad Boys. You think, you think it's the best one? No, I think one is the best one. Like, yeah, one, one was good. One was so, great. So here's, they're all made in different time periods, right? True. I haven't seen the new one, so I don't, I can't even. No, 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 you're right. Bad Boys 1 was one of those 90s fucking action movies that had an actual storyline. They did have an actual Like... Character development and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then Bad Boys 2 was, what, like, early 2000s, maybe? When yes. Like, Mid-2000s. Mid-2000s. And so, you know, that's when everything was, like, action-packed. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was shot in a certain way. It was, it was shot very similar to uh, All About the Benjamins. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I like I, I like that. I like that. Um, I just think it was good. It was not, let me get that out the way. It was good, but um, to say it's the best one they ever made, uh, that's a stretch. Yeah, that's what I um, I want to shout out Forever Broke. Make sure you uh go get your Forever Broke um merchandise. My boy Rob Dobbs. Um, and rest in peace to Mike Davis. It was his birthday on the twentieth, which is yesterday, and um, you know. Have a great day. Thank you for thank you for tuning in and listening. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all of that, man. And um, I'll holla at y'all next week. Thank you. Uh, oh well, oh well. <laughs> it's my world. Don't don't look for me to cater to your needs. I am not. I'm here to argue. I'm a